First at 10, the Pennsylvania Public Utility Commission holding the first of three public input hearings in Bloomsburg to get comments on a proposed $16 million water and wastewater rate increase by Veolia Water Pennsylvania. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Lurie. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules was at that public hearing and is live with more. Alicia. Aaron and Ann, the utility company, is proposing a rate hike that will raise water customers' rates by 22% and wastewater customers by 37%. I just think that's unreasonable, like 5%, you know, but 37% for wastewater. I just think that's ridiculous. Valerie Tanner, a wastewater Veolia Water Pennsylvania customer, says her current bill for wastewater is about $55, but with this potential rate hike, she fears it can go upwards of $80. Earlier this month, the PUC announced a series of in-person and telephone hearings as a part of the process in the PUC's rate hike case with Veolia Water. This is the public's opportunity to come out and to uh, express their opinions uh, on the proposed rate case. And uh, the commission uh, takes that as part of the record. It's evaluated by our administrative law judges and by the uh, commissioners themselves when they make a final decision on the rate case. Under the proposals filed with the PUC by Veolia, the average monthly bill for a residential water customer using 3,500 gallons of water per month would increase from $49.64 to $60.79. Veolia wastewater customers, the average monthly bill for a residential customer would increase from a flat rate of $56.20 to $77. A resident who attended the hearing but wanted to remain off camera tells me that he was a bit disappointed in the turnout as he wished more people attended and testified at the hearing. Tanner says that she questions if the low turnout at the hearing may be because some Veolia customers were unaware of the hearing until she read details on the hearing in a local newspaper. No, I didn't. Nobody knew about this meeting. So I don't know if everybody else got a paper saying, you know, a letter saying about this meeting, but we had no idea. Now, if you would still like to testify, there will be another public hearing in Harrisburg tomorrow that you could attend in person or via phone. For more information, visit the story on our website, fox56.com. Reporting live from Bloomsburg, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10.